chapter 5, verses 8 through 9. Ephesians chapter 5, verses 8 through 9. Who has it? Amen. Hallelujah. For you were once darkness, but now you are light. Yes. Lord, live as children of light, for the fruit of the light consists of all goodness, righteousness, and truth. For the, for the fruit of the what? The light is what? All goodness and what? Righteousness and truth. Amen. You know, it hurts my heart. I'm, I'm, I like to be straightforward. Sometimes God gives you something, you just speak it, even if it's not in the message. But it hurts my heart when I see, uh, I was watching this TV show on HBO, and this guy was making fun of the churches, or Christians, and, you know, about money, and, and you know, uh, he was sending money to them, and then he was just testing them, and he was doing a big show about it. And he was sharing that he was sending money, uh, an envelope to him, and then he would send a donation, and then the guy would come back, and he'd get another letter, and they send another letter back, and then they ask him for more money. Then they send another letter back, ask him for more money. Then they said, I'll send you, a, a, I think, like a handkerchief or something like that, and this is blessed, and then you get more money. You understand? And then, but it, uh, to get that blessing, you gotta send thirty nine ninety five. I'm like, man, that's that's just kind of kind of hard, you know? Because if you're a Christian and you love the Lord, especially me, that I, you know, I, I I love preaching the Word of God and, and I enjoy helping people, you know, it gives a bad rep to other people, all the churches. You understand? Because you know, but we know that the devil. That's how he's gonna come. Because the devil knows the word better than you do. You see what I'm saying? That's what he's going to use to try to inf infiltrate your what? Your mind. Because once you accept the Lord, and those watching my video, once you accept the Lord, he's yours. But, you know, your mind has to be renewed daily. You have to study the word. You got to pray to keep yourself sanctified. Because all the enemy is going to come and try to impregnate you with bad thoughts or, or things that you've done in the past or bring up that old luggage and you're still carrying it. You understand what I'm trying to say? And we got to be, you know, how do we know that we have to equip ourselves with the Word of God and be able to understand that we're to meditate what day and night on the Word of God. Amen? Amen. Is that the truth? Amen. Amen. But it hurts me when you hear these things because it, it, it kind of, it, it, it kind of, you know, gets people to say, well, I don't want to go to church. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to keep my covenant. Why should I go to church? I can stay home Sunday, wash my car. Do my house, do my house build, do this and, and 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 do these other things because of people like that. Well, if I go to church, they just want my money. That's what. It, do you understand how he's polluting the gospel? And that's what he uses. He'll use anybody. That's why the Bible says, "Be careful. You will know them by the fruits they bear." When you hang out, I'm down to earth. When you hang out with a person, you get to know them. Just because I'm up here with a suit, you don't know what it took me to get over here. How many years of my life since the '80s? And the things that I've been through in my life. You understand? But it takes time. It's a process. But the thing is that when you accept God, then the inner spirit comes in. Then the outer court, you, the inner court starts changing. That's why I was referring to that. Then the outer court is our bodies. We start transforming. We start thinking different. We start speaking different. Even what comes out of our mouth is different. Right, my brother? And we start dressing different. And we start acting different. Because that's the light of Christ that's within us. But it hurts me when I hear these preachers and they're in it for the wrong reason because if you notice here, how many churches are in Port St. Lucie, Fort Pierce? It's a monopoly. I, I call it a monopoly. Well, I don't like the way that pastor says something. I don't like, so I'm going to run to this church. I'm going to run to there and run in here, back and forth. And it's, it's sad. And then you hear these commentaries and these shows at night talking about the churches or about the preachers. It's just, that's the devil just trying to pollute our minds. Amen? Amen? So we got to watch what we hear, what we watch. If you see something that's not right, man, flee. You understand what I'm saying? Just go. If it's not in the Word of God, like we say in New York, forget about it. You keep going. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I, I don't know why I said that, but I just felt to say that because I like to speak the truth. Amen? Now, he says what? The fruit of the light, right? Because we are what? In the light, and right? And we are what? Children of God. You will know them by the, how they act, how they live, how they, how they talk, how they... Those are ambassadors of Christ. Amen? Let's go to Ephesians chapter 4. Go back one, uh, one, one chapter. Verse 24. And we should all mark your Bibles on this or remember this verse. That's why I give you a verse because I really want you to understand the Word of God. I don't want to preach at you. I want you to know the Word. Amen? For yourself. It says Ephesians 4 verse 24. Who has it? 
created. Nice and loud. And to be put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Right. And to put on what? The new self. Put on the new self. What? Right? To be what? In truth and in righteousness. Truth and in righteousness. You ever notice when you lie? <laughs> you got to make up another lie to keep that lie going. Because you lied about this, then somebody confronts you. Well, you say, oh, no. Then you're making another lie. Then the next thing you know, remember the fish story? It started like a little uh, goldfish. Now it's a, a whale. Because you keep adding lies. And then you start believing the lie. That's how the devil gets you through here. Old snaggletooth, as I call him. He gets you through here. That's how he can get you. He can't get you to your inner court or the outer court. It's only through your mind. That's the only way that he can get you. Amen? First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 11. I know I gave a lot of scriptures this morning. Right? I just want, I was just, man, I was into it last night in the Word. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 6, verse 11. And such were some of you, but he has watched, watched, but he Sanctify. Sanctify. And or, or we are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Good reading. I love that. Amen. And that is what is what some of you were, right? But you were what? Washed and were what? I'm reading out of the NIV and what? Sanctified and you were what? Justified in the name of the Lord. Jesus Christ and by what? Again, here we go. By what? The Spirit of who? Of God. of God. The Spirit of God was justified and sanctified by the Spirit of God. But the devil's going to try to tell you, no, you ain't sanctified. Don't you remember what you did last year? You think you're all holy now? You know what I'm saying? You think you're all that now because you have the Word? That's what he's going to bring up. He's the one that brings what? Condemnation. He's the one that's whispering in your ear. Amen. Trying to get you to remember your past. But you know, when we, when we said God is forgotten, it's, it's, just remember this. Forget about it. Say, everybody say, forget about it. That's it. Forget about it. <laughs> Amen. That's my New York style slang. So <laughs> anyway, but we forget about it. Amen. Because we're what? We're walking in truth and in righteousness and in the holiness of Him. Because we've been watched by, not by ourselves or by this world, but by Him and sanctified through Him, through Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen? Is that the truth? Yes. Amen. Amen. So you know that you're sanctified, man. You're a royal priesthood. You're a chosen generation, Mama Lola. You have all power and authority. Amen? Amen. Through the kingdom of God. Amen. That's the truth. Amen. Let's go to uh, Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 31 Ezekiel chapter 18 verse 31 I'm sorry to give you so much verses but I want you to really see where I'm coming from Amen Hallelujah Cast away from you all your trans transgressions whereby mm -hmm. ye have transgressed and make you a new heart and a new spirit or will ye die O house of Israel Oh Israel, rid yourself, it says in the NIV, of all your offense. You have what? Committed and get a new what? Heart. Right? Yeah. And a what? A new spirit. Why why will you die, O house of Israel? Amen. He's talking to the Israelites at that time. Amen. But what he's talking about, right? We're to get a what? A new heart. Amen. And commit ourselves to Christ Jesus. Amen. I mean, what does the Bible tell us to do? Not to lie, to do things right, to walk in honor, to walk in integrity. That you don't got to walk with, <laughs> you know, somebody trying to get you put in the back. You know what I'm saying? That you're walking what? In the light. You see? And then when you look in the mirror, you know whatever people, people always going to say something about you. Nobody's going to like you. Not everybody likes us. You know that's the truth, right? Somebody always got something negative to say, but that's all right. As long as he know who I am. You see what I'm saying? And I have what? A relationship with him, and he has a relationship with me. Amen. I have a covenant. Amen. I thank God every day in my life. I've been saved since the 80s, 83, and it's been a process, my brother, every day in my life. Amen. That I, I stay focused on God. I read the word to keep myself sanctified and not let my old self arise in me. What do I always say? Let the Holy Spirit that's within us, what? 
rise and let my flesh what? Descend. Amen. Amen. Because the flesh always wants to do what's wrong. But you see, but when you think positive and you act positive and educate yourself, that's important. Education. Knowledge. That's power. Amen. Right? Knowledge is power. It's the truth. Knowledge is power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I know I don't be preaching these sermons that everybody be preaching, but I want to preach the truth. Amen. That's going to set us free. Amen. We know that we've been saved. We've been sanctified. We know who Jesus is. Now we got to learn the word of God, the promises that are in there in order to continue to walk our life daily. And I still say, I don't got it all together. It's been 30 some years I've been serving the Lord. I've been in every kind of ministry. But what? I'm still learning every day. And I don't take it by chance or by grunt or by grant that some, you know, that I can't fall. I can fall too. Amen. Yes. But if I stay in the Word and I keep cleansing my mind with the Word of God, I keep praying, I keep asking, then I'm going into the inner court, then the outer court will start changing. You see what I'm trying to say? The inner court that's within us. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Now, salvation of the soul, I believe, is the spirit of all things that have become new. However, our souls has not yet have, have received this, some of us. Amen. Because I meet a lot of people and I'm straightforward. You know, I, I tell them all the time, you can lie to me till you're blue in the face, but God knows your heart. You see, you can lie to everybody else, you can play the role, but God knows if you're sincere or, or, or who you are by the relationship that you have with Him. Amen? Amen? And then the blessings come on our lives. Amen. Why do me and my wife we always get blessed? Why is it? You know, I would say that why you give up everything you got to start a church, you got a few people and you're doing this and you're going here and there. Why? Because I love God. God called me to do something. I listen to him. You see what I'm saying? We say, how do we hear God? Through prayer, through fasting. Amen? Amen. These are promises that, you know, how I know when I need something for my family, my daughter gets sick or something, where do I go? I come right here. I lay on the floor. I say, Lord, my daughter's sick. I don't need nobody here at church. I live by myself. My daughter's sick. This is happening in my life. This is finance and whatever it is I just give it to God and I just say Lord I believe you're gonna see me through if you're gonna you know and, and that's it and I walk away from it and I got that inner peace that comes only from God right Mama Lola Amen. only comes from God and having what a relationship with God a true relationship that's why it hurts me when I hear these characters on TV talking about my father amen I take it literally that you're talking about my dad our father amen, amen. That I know that he's real because he's transformed my life. I know what he's done in my life. That's why I tell all of y'all, don't ever lack your testimony wherever you at. You don't got to know the word. Down. All you got to do is just tell, this is what God done in my life. I, like, I don't know what. I know I was dead once, now I'm alive. I was blind, but now I can see. And when you start saying that, then you say, Lord, thank you. Because it's true, we were blind, we were dead. But because, in our own transgressions, but because of God coming into our life, he gave us, well, from the high mercy, see, he still gave us a chance. Amen? Yes. And he's still out there interceding. That's the good news. Amen. Yeah.